Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back on the Mustang again and I'm working my tail off on it. I went ahead and changed the O2 wire extension um, from the harness to the O2s and put a different one on. You might be able to see it right there in front of the filter there. I also pulled the cap off the O2, the uh, oil pressure sending unit right there and screwed the other piece in, it was leaking. I have another one, I haven't installed it, it's not leaking anymore. Um, I've got it back up and I've taped up, loomed the harness. And through the bottom there, I loomed the harness to the O2 sensors and put a new harness that a buddy of mine had on his car. Okay, let me explain what's going on today. I jacked this up and I had this from um, the cruise control blocked off here. Well, the second line here, I went ahead and went to the booster. This one went back to the intake. I put a seven millimeter um, long quarter inch socket in between and pushed it up. You can probably see it right there. Now that goes straight to the booster. Now the other one off the aftermarket canister goes straight to the intake. <clears throat> I hear like a vacuum whine, a leak, up under this area from the back of the intake. When I put my hand under here and move this harness and push it in between the intake and the valve cover, it seems to want to run different. And that tells me there's a leak there. I definitely hear a leak back here somewhere. I feel on the china rail and there's a light remnants of oil on the china rail in the back now i'm not sure if this is leaking from inside the car the booster there or and i am sure there is a leak under this intake it's leaking i do still have the wide open throttle issue the back fire when i give it gas and it's slightly better because when you give it gas now it it it, it misfires and then it will continue to go the last time it would misfire and not go um, it would just misfire so bad you ha actually have to lower the idle down the, the pedal to get it to go again now if you barely hit the pedal it'll go fine through all the gears but the moment you start hitting the pedal hard it starts to want to misfire I don't know what the issue is I get a P0172 and P0136 O2 sensors always lean O2 sensors lean something so I've changed that harness on that and that made no difference so I don't know what's going on and also I can unplug the mass airflow sensor and the car runs smooth the minute I unplug it back up it wants to cam out <laughs> So I don't know if the O2 sensor is bad. Yes, I have cleaned the O2 sensor. I've tried that many a times. So I don't know if the car needs a retune. It definitely has multiple vacuum leaks. And I guess my next thing is I'm gonna take it to my buddy's shop and see if I can use his vacuum machine out in the parking lot. And this week, I'm gonna go ahead and get a compression, a wet and dry compression to figure out what's wrong with this motor. Because this motor is supposed to only have 200 miles on it. And if this motor is damaged, you know, I have to kind of move forward from that that part because I've put a lot of work and time and money into this. And um, it might not be what it's supposed to be, what it was claimed as and what it was listed as. And, I paid a good deal amount of money to be working all this time on something that could possibly be a bad cylinder, low compression, or maybe even a hole in the cylinder. Uh, this guy had nitrous on the car and he had the bottle taken off the car and I've seen uh, videos of him drag racing the car. So there is a good possibility that one of the cylinders is messed up. There's a hole burn in the piston. There's valve issue besides the vacuum leaks. I've never run into a car with a misfire like this. I have multiple Mustangs and this has been the worst headache. In the ad, it said it needed minor repair to get going. Well, it has 3,000 plus hours now 
and I believe that's past minor repair on a mechanic's labor. So I'm frustrated with the car, I'm complaining a little bit, but if you sell something, it doesn't matter if you say it's as is. If you put in the ad that it is something and it turns out not to be, you are kind of liable for that. So I'm now decided I'm going moving forward. I'm going to get the vacuum test done later on today and I'm going to get a wet and dry compression done. I'm going to determine whether this motor is good. Um, I'm at wit's end and I don't have these evac tool is 1200 and <clears throat> the compression tool I don't have. So I'm going to go ahead and take it to the shop and I'm going to do it there with the guy and I'm going to get the mechanic there to help me out as well. And I'm a mechanic. We're going to both do the smoke test. We're going to see where it's leaking and then we're going to do the compression test next to determine whether this motor is good because I've put a lot of time, money, and effort into it. So as always guys, like, subscribe, and share and keep on dreaming.